Uh, the skills first challenge has been running for about five years now. Uh, it, you know, originally started where we tested minor at or atom age players uh, in five different skill challenges, and uh, each year they'd come back and participate with the senators in the send skills uh, competition. Uh, this past year we ex expanded the skills first challenge to include all the divisions, so novice to midget, and uh, we had a really good response. Um, we had uh, over over 100 kids participate in the finals on the morning of send skills. Um, each of them competes in a qualifier leading up to the to the uh, to the finals, whether it be one hosted by us at a local rink or one hosted by their own team at their at a practice. And then uh, each, we have qualifiers, the top three typically in uh, the Adam and Pee Wee in Pee Wee divisions. So in the house and competitive divisions, uh, advance to compete alongside the Sens. Uh, uh, this afternoon in the Sense Skills Competition, so it was great. To, it's, it's great to have them participate with our guys. We get tremendous feedback every year, and it's a great way for for kids to have fun and for coaches to promote fundamental skill development, which really is the, you know, the, the basics of the game. And if uh, you know if you don't have the fundamental skills, then you're probably not going to be able to play as long or enjoy the game as much as you as you should. And uh, we think that's really important to promote and, and have some fun with. So that's the basis behind the whole program. Once the players made it through the initial round. They were invited to Scotiabank Place to compete for the 16 elusive spots. For some of them, not wanting to get their hopes up, the day stretched on longer than expected. For us, this has been a bit of a surprise because we had a hockey game at 9. So at 10 to 10, we had to hop in a car, rush over here so he could even do the competition this morning. Then we discovered he got to go with the Senators. We had 15 minutes to get ready for that. So with this, we, you know, at 9 o'clock this morning, we thought we are going to be home at 10.30, and now we're still here. It's been absolutely fabulous. We didn't come here expecting that uh, he would necessarily be out there, so it was a surprise uh, about an hour before, and that's especially exciting because, you know, you don't expect it. So, yeah, it was very exciting overall. How did he get to have that spot out there? I guess there were two rounds of the Send Skills session, and he, he did well enough in the first one to advance to the finals, and then uh, in the finals he did well as, as well, so I guess they had six six and six so yeah I guess just working hard after the players found out they made the cut there was little time to prepare they were tired but exhilarated and couldn't wait to get out on the ice for the final round with the Senators well it was uh, really cool to do all these skills and uh, we won so uh, we're going with the Sens and it's very fun and how excited are you to be going on with the Sens pretty soon they uh, really excited really uh, really really excited uh, yeah, I've met it. Um, I met Alfie, I met Eatley, uh, Spedza, uh, all of these players. Since 1999, skill development in minor hockey has been a major focus of the Canadian hockey community. In 2003, the Senators organization turned their focus to programs assisting the area's hockey associations in meeting their skill development targets. With programs like the First Skills Challenge, hopefully many more Luke Richardsons, Sean Donovans, and Randy Robitaille will emerge from this region. For Send Skills, I'm Glenna Goswich. Time for our next event here on Skills Day, and it's the fastest skater event. Last year, the winner was Dean McCammon, who just took some ribbing for possibly cheating in the puck control relay. The all-time record for fastest skater by the Ottawa Senators, held by Antoine Vermette back in the 2004 competition. We'll see if Antoine can top that right now. Here we go, Nick. Wow, that was really good for a rookie. Here we go now, here we go, let's make some noise, Team White. Come on, Shuby, come on, Shuby. Where you go, Shuby? Hurry up, Shuby, hurry up, Shuby. Giddy up. 14.85. Seven, Christoph Schubert. 
Okay, now we know what the speed is from Germany. Let's find out what the speed is from Carlton Place. Sean the Flash Donovan. It's like it's just not fair. Well, that's not bad. All right. Senators team record holder, Antoine Vermette. Here we go. With the winner of the fastest skater uh, competition, Antoine Vermette, you regain your title. But you win it by a hair over uh, the old guy. Yeah, I didn't know when I saw his time there. I, uh, I thought we were tie or I didn't. I was 0.8, and after I didn't notice what really uh, was the time. So, uh, big point for our team here. Feel good to reclaim the, the crown? Yeah, not bad. Uh, he's a fast skater. I knew, I knew he'd, be, uh, he'd be right there. So, uh, no, it's, it's all right. It's just about having fun right now. Thanks, Vermit. Thank you. With uh, Nick Felino, uh, Antoine Vermet bails you guys out in the fastest uh, skater competition. How would you rate your own performance? Uh, yeah, I knew I was probably going to hold the team down a little bit, but uh, Vermi came up with a big one for us, so uh, you know it was a lot of fun. But I know I got a few more years so I can start skating like those guys. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Thanks. Nick Felino isn't much older than our next competitors. The minor hockey players are up. Let's see how fast they can go. Couldn't say that when Steve Martin's played here. Johnston. Oh, Lloyd, let's make some noise for him. 